Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Hampton with the Full Gym Law Firm. Welcome to our YouTube channel. I wanna to talk to you today about a question I get all the time. What is the difference between probation and parole? Is there a difference? Absolutely. In fact, if you wait around to the end of this video, I will also give you a free ebook, What to Do If You've Been Charged With a Crime in Texas. Today, I wanna to go over a question I bet I get more often than just about anything else. Sometimes people will call in and say, hey, listen, I'm facing a parole violation. Come to find out they meant probation revocation. Two totally different things, but they do have some similarities. So we're gonna go through the ins and outs of the probation laws in Texas and show you the difference between a probation and a parole violation, okay? Now, let's jump right into this. So the, tics, the here's the thing, the Texas criminal justice system is very complex. Look, it's easy to mix up terms. Attorneys do it all the time too. They get confused about it, they use terms interchangeably that mean totally different things. And particularly when you talk about the term probation and parole, many times they're used incorrectly. Now they do have some similarities and we'll look at those here in just a minute, but there are some very key differences that can make a big difference in how you need to approach that if you're facing one of these sets of circumstances. So let's first talk about Texas probation. What is probation? Probation is a court ordered supervision that allows a defendant to remain in the community rather than having to go to jail and serve their actual prison time or jail time. Now there are two types of probation. There is straight probation and deferred adjudication probation. Straight probation means you are actually convicted. So let's say hypothetically, there's a drug charge and the judge sentences someone to two years in prison but he probates their sentence for five years, okay? What that means is the judge says, I'm not gonna send you to prison for this two year sentence. However, I'm gonna make you live on the straight and narrow for five years. If you mess up, I can come back and send you to prison under the original sentence. That is called straight probation. The downside to straight probation is you are already convicted. It is a conviction forever on your record, okay? Now, deferred adjudication is the second type of probation. Deferred adjudication is a type of probation that does not result in a conviction, okay? I think of deferred adjudication as like, you go in front of the judge, you do a plea, but the judge hits the pause button. He literally hits the pause button on your case. If you complete the terms and conditions, which we'll get into here in just a minute, if you complete those terms and conditions of your probation, your case is actually administratively dismissed and you may be eligible to get that off your record at some point, okay? Now, when you take probation, the judge will give a probationer specific terms to follow for a designated period of time. Let me give you some examples of some of those conditions. They'll usually require you to maintain a job, maintain a job. They'll require you to potentially complete drug or alcohol testing or classes, depending on the offense. They almost always will require you to do some type of drug testing. You will have to report to a probation officer once a month, pay administrative fees to the probation department. Um, and that's usually the minimum. Now, the more serious the charge, for instance, if it's a theft charge, they'll make you do theft classes. If it's a drug charge, they'll make you do drug classes. Um, if it's a sex-based offense, it'll be sex-based offense classes. All of them are unique depending upon the type of charge that you consider a probation for, okay? Essentially, probation is an opportunity for a low-level class offender to prove to the court that they can rehabilitate themselves so that they do not have to spend time in jail or in prison, all right? Now, let's talk about Texas parole. I am not going to pretend like I specialize in doing parole work. In fact, that's not what I spend my time doing. Um, and I always refer people to go to a parole attorney if that's an issue that they have that arises for them. But I do think it's important to understand the difference. Parole is community supervision that is granted to an inmate in prison that has already served time in jail in prison and now and it has to be a felony offense because that's what you go to prison for the texas board of, Bar of pardons and paroles grants parole when an offender sitting in prison exhibits good behavior while in prison 
And once an inmate is actually released on parole, the parolee must then report in the tech to the Texas parole division and they'll lay out specific terms for you to follow. For an example, some of these terms usually include report to a parole officer. Sounds kind of similar to probation, right? Report to a probation officer, report to a parole officer. Secondly, you're going to still be required to avoid drug and alcohol usage while you're on parole, not commit any additional crimes. Can't pick up any new offenses while you're on parole and you should have contact, avoid contact with other criminal activity and offenders, right? Now, sometimes they'll make you abide by a curfew and all these other things, but I want to make this distinction. Probation is much more stringent and can add additional requirements more frequently than what you'll normally find for parole, okay? Parole is mainly concerned with making sure you get into no additional trouble and you just mind your basic P's and Q's, right? Probation monitors you much more thoroughly as a general rule, all right? Now, the key similarities and differences, of course, I pointed them out already, but what are the similarities? Under both, you have to report to a probation officer or a parole officer, Revocation, having your parole or your probation revoked can both result in you going to prison, spending more time in jail. So that's a concern. Okay. But the key difference is parole is granted when you've already been to prison. Probation, you don't usually serve any jail time and it's involved at the time you agree to a plea deal. Okay. That's the main difference that you find here. And so also probation is usually granted to low level offenders or lower level of uh, offenses. And, and that's a big difference. Now I'm going to tell you this, since we're mainly focusing on probation law in Texas, what if you are facing a probation revocation? If you are currently facing a probation revocation in Texas, maybe your probation officers called you and say, I'm about to issue a warrant for your arrest and you're about to go to jail because you have violated your probation. Critical thing to know, especially in the courts of Tarrant County, the courts of Dallas County here in the North Texas area, if a warrant is issued for a probation revocation, you do not immediately have the opportunity to bond out of jail. You must hire an attorney to go in and make a request for the judge to make certain that a bond is set so that you can bond out, okay? The good thing about a probation revocation is if you're facing one of those, you can fight it. There are some ways that you can do to potentially mitigate the punishment that you would receive, or you may even be able to get back on probation through a reinstatement. But that's why it's critical that you hire an experienced criminal attorney that has the experience of making sure that they've been able to get results like that on probation revocation cases. All right, maybe you or a loved one is facing a probation revocation case uh, in the courts of North Texas, if that's your situation, don't hesitate to contact the Fulgham Law Firm at 817-877-3030. We would be happy to sit down with you, go over your options, also discuss with you, give you a free case consultation and give you an idea of what to expect coming up. And I promised you if you waited around to the end of this video, I'd give you a free ebook, What to Do If You Have Been Charged With a Crime in Texas. Click the link below. We'll be happy to send it right over to you. And I want to thank you again for joining us on our YouTube channel today. If you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our channel and we'll continue to provide you more great content just like this. Thanks again.